Okay guys, it's time to have a little fun here. Let's sit back and take a look at the Habs roster and try and pinpoint a few of the players that could possibly be put on a hook and used as trade bait to try and, you know, drag a bigger fish into Montreal. Now, a little bit of a warning here, this video is probably gonna be long. So grab a beer and sit your ass down. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs or you've caught a trout bigger than Paul Byron, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more of you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Also, we're getting pretty close to the 2,000 subscriber Q&A video. So if you got a question that you want answered, it could be anything. Let me know down there in the dirty, rotten comment section and I'll add it to the list. Now, there has been a ton of trade chatter lately involving some pretty big names. Would you like a number one center that is a point per game player? If you answered yes, Jackie Chan Eichel is available. And supposedly, Marc Bergevin, loving the spotlight and all, has been kicking the tars on this guy, you know, trying to get a sniff of what the asking price is. And if you don't like Jack Eichel, or how he treated Kevin McAllister in Home Alone, then don't worry. There's a whole freezer full of popsicles out there that Bergevin may try and grab. Who knows at this point what the man has up his sleeve, right? And if you're fine with the centers that the Habs have right now, there is also another position to consider revamping, and that of course is defense. With Shea Weber possibly out of the picture forever right now, that friggin' stings. That stings like hell. Cal Fleury got snatched up by the crackheads. And we all know Bergevin loves defensemen like I love cake. So I wouldn't be shocked if he brought in a defenseman or two before the season began. Anyway, jeez. Enough about who's available or who they need. Let's talk about who could be getting the axe or tossed out of town if they decided to make a trade happen with another team. And keep in mind, just because I'm mentioning names here doesn't necessarily mean that I want them gone, okay? Every player on the list has fans. And somebody's ass is going to get chapped if they get moved to a different team. But that's the beauty of this. If you like them, you really, really like them. Chances are they hold value. So, in no particular order, let's let her rip. Number one on my list here is Yesperi Kotkaniemi. I think if the Habs were to try and bring in another big name player, Kotkaniemi would be in the mix. I mean, the dream is to have Suzuki and Kotkaniemi as the one-two punch down the middle on the top six. And while Suzuki is sitting pretty comfy right now, it seems like he's going to be a lock as the number one center next season. Kotkaniemi, on the other hand, has been struggling to earn the trust of his coaching staff. Now, whether you think he deserves this treatment or not that he's been getting is a completely different topic. But all I know is he's been a healthy scratch in some pretty important games. But that doesn't mean he holds no value or he doesn't have a future as a big name forward in the NHL. The guy is 21 years old. He's a pup. He's got the talent. He's got the tools. He just needs to get it all together. And I got a feeling that this year, could be the year that he takes his game to the next level. And while some fans may have already written this guy off for some reason, I think he holds a shit ton of trade value. And that's why if a big trade is made, I'm going to rank this guy number one on the trade bait list. However, if he gets moved, it's probably going to be in a package for another center that's already proven. Number two on here, we got another familiar face, Mr. Jonathan Drouin. Now, I'm not going to talk about everything that has gone down during the regular season because that has been beaten like a dead horse. But even though Bergevin did say Jonathan Drouin would be at the training camp for Montreal this year, it is Mark Bergevin we're talking about, right? Expect the unexpected. And whether you love Drouin or not, don't be shocked if he gets moved. Although, I will say this, his value is probably at an all-time low right now. Seattle could have just came in like an eagle and swooped down and grabbed him, but they decided not to. Although, personally, I think he does hold some value, just a little, and could be a chip in a larger package. Next up, we got my man, Caden Gooley. This is a guy that I really don't want to see get moved, okay? 
I've got some pretty high hopes for Ghoulie. I like his style. I even like his name, Ghoulie. It sounds awesome. He seems like a promising prospect right now, a solid defenseman, and if Ghoulie does find himself on Bergevin's hook, it's definitely going to be in a package type deal for a bigger fish in the sea. Shut up, Moff! Now, the next name on the list isn't going to razzle or dazzle you with flashy moves. Give it up for my boy, Arturi Lekkinen. Huh? He scored a huge goal in the playoffs. The goal that sent the Habs to the Stanley Cup Finals. And while a lot of you guys may be hearing this name and thinking, pfft, at him, he's useless. He's not gonna hold any value. Well, I think he's a wicked bottom six forward, and for this guy's age, he is one of the best wingers that I've seen in a long time at his own end of the rink. He makes all the right plays, he kills penalties, he could score the odd clutch goal, huh? He's got that smile thing he does. And yeah, no team is going to offer Connor McDavid straight up for Arturi Lekkinen. That's not what I'm saying. But again, he's another worm for the hook. That could be packaged up for a big player. I remember like a year ago, I was listening to Sportsnet. And Brian Burke was on there and he would not shut up raving about Arturi Lekkinen. He was going bananas on there. Saying that this is a guy that he would want on his team. So, licking in for Crosby, straight up. <laughs> Number five. The last guy I'm going to talk about here is Ryan Paling. This is another Montreal first round draft pick. He's 22 years old and proven to be a good two-way center. Or at least in Laval he is. Now, this guy has had his fair share of opportunities to crack the NHL. But he found himself slipping backwards down to Lavelle. To his credit though, he just pulled off a wicked season under Joel Bouchard. Nearly going a point per game down there. Finishing the season with 25 points in 28 games. And I did get a chance to watch a few Lavelle games this year. And he looked wicked. His shot looked good. He was scoring on breakaways. He was scoring on the power play. It looked promising. Honestly, but again, with Jake Evans earning praise from Dominique Ducharme and the emergence of both Nick Suzuki and trade bait name number one, Yasperi Kotkaniemi, well, Ryan Paling could be used as trade bait in the future. And there you have it. That's my five guys, burgers and fries. Now, five of them are still likely to be a member of the Canadians next season. That wouldn't shock me at all if nothing happens. But I'm just saying. If Captain Insano over there, Mark Bergevin, is looking to make some sort of splash, these are five names that wouldn't shock me if they were involved. I know, a lot of you are probably wondering why I didn't add Nick Suzuki or hit the music, our little bundle of joy, Cole Caulfield, to this list. Well, I just, I feel like these guys are untouchables at this point. Suzuki and Caulfield, I, I don't see them going anywhere. And plus, if they did, I'd have a meltdown, okay? I'd lose my mind. That does it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to ask some questions for the 2K subs Q&A. And I'll see you next time.